How we doing everybody? Let's get started. So my source site, so the old staging site, is at this link, stormcreekcopy.wpengine.com. Okay, this is the old site. Um, used to be the live site, but now here is the new live site. And you will see the site looks better, right? But let's just dive in here. I'm going to look at the orders. Just give you a better idea. We're pulling up these orders. And you'll notice that the last order before we switched over to the live site was 5805 on January 28th, 2019. And if you see, you know, there's 289 of these. So these orders go way back. You know, if I go to 289 real quick. You know, these or orders are going down to, to 36. That's where we started at, okay? So now let's flip, flip gears and let's go to the new live site. Sweet. Let's set up these orders. We have the new live site. And if I go to the last page, go to the bottom, 5806. So that's the last order, or the first order on the new site, excuse me. If I look here, if I go back to the first page on the old live site, so this is the, the, source site what we're going to refer to it's 5805 so i'm trying to import from 5805 to page 289 um order number 36 so order number 36 25805 how do i do this okay let's get to it go to csv export and if you followed um the thing i mentioned how to what plugins to use so i click here but before I click export customers I'm gonna click settings and just make sure it's set to the CSV import for the export format that's the one that we want okay let's click export so I'm gonna go down to customers and I'm gonna click export sweet so I'm exporting all the customers from the old live site the source site and I'm going to import them into the new live site. Okay, for the sake of this uh, tutorial, I already downloaded these orders um, a couple days ago just to make sure there's 5,000 of them or a little bit over 5,000. So uh, I want to be prepared for this tutorial. So I'm just going to download the CSV file. You'll notice how this is still processing, but right now these are completed. <laughs> So what I do is I use Google Sheets. I don't have like Excel. Um, so I use Google Sheets to do this migration process. So I'm gonna give this a name like import old woo orders. Cool. Go to this first line, click import, and upload this file that I just downloaded here. And it may take a while, right? 5,000 rows in an Excel or Google Sheets file. Won't take too long, but maybe, you know, 20 seconds or so, so bear with us. I'm gonna replace the current sheet and click import data. So wow, if I look here, 5805, we want to go all the way down to 36. So if I keep going down, 36 is right here. Okay, 
first things first, if I'm migrating orders between sites, um, and this, this site, like the source site and the new site are using different, um, they're using, they're not the same site. So right now this is the new live site. It's on a different WordPress install, WooCommerce install. Um, it might use, you know, the same products as the last site, but I'm actually going to get rid of this column ID and we're just going to use the order number. Um, long story short, each order in WooCommerce has an ID and the, but that's the post ID. So, um, you know, eight, one, four, seven, five, you know, if I published a blog post right after this, that post ID in the database would be eight, one, four, seven, six. So we don't want to import the ID column because that's the post ID and that's auto generated in, um, WordPress. So I, what I always do is I just delete this column. Okay. And now I'm just looking at my order numbers, right? If we go back here and that's, that's the new, this is the G web partners one. So I'm just going to go back here. Storm Creek copy. So 5805, 5805, we're on our way, right? And if I go and look um, at these orders, when I was doing this site for this client, they still had some orders that were on hold, had different order statuses. So if I wanted to mark all these as completed, and another thing I would do is I would do, you know, find and replace, I would find on hold, replace with completed, um, you know, find processing, replace with completed, you know, find all, replace all. Um, so that's something else that you could do. And as I keep going, um, I'm going to look at all the columns and make sure I have everything correct. So if we're good to go, I'm going to export this CSV file. So I'm gonna export the CSV file. I'm gonna to go to the destination site, so the new live site, right? And if I go to this dashboard, you know, once again, if I look at these orders, you know, we're gonna be, we have only the orders that have been on the live site. We don't, we haven't imported orders before 5806. So 5806 was the first order on the new live site. So I'm going to go to CSV import suite. But before I do that, before I import any orders, I'm going to go to plugins. And I'm going to make sure that this, this, this disables emails plugin is downloaded. Um, the reason I do this, and I'm just going to delete this and walk through it. So bear with me. The reason I do this is so when users or when orders are imported, imported, customers do not receive a notification email. Um, that's something that we don't want to do. Some of these orders, there's over 5,000 of them happened a year or two ago. They do not want to get an email notification that an order was received. So I download this disables emails plugin. Stop WordPress from sending any emails. It sounds just like us. Um, and I'm going to go to WooCommerce CSV import suite. Okay. Import orders. CSV. That's what we had. Let's be generated from this. I'm going to choose my file. Import all Wood orders. Sheet one. That's what we had here. From this then, okay, go next. It's quite a large file, so that's why it's taking so long. 
Um, and I'm gonna check Because there's so many orders, I'm gonna allow line items with unknown product SKU slash ID. Um, this is because if this company or if your company used to have an old SKU and it's a product's imported, and let's say a customer had five um, line items in each order, they had, you know, a navy pullover a, that was large, a navy double XL that was large, a teal double XL, and you no longer have the teal color. We still want to allow that line item to be imported, even though it's if it's not going to directly match to a SKU, because if a customer is opening up that order, a historical order, and let's say they you know paid two hundred dollars on your site. Um, we want to allow that so you can still see the order total. They can still see it. They might not see that, you know, the specific that they got a teal large pullover, but they'll still be able to see that they had an unknown product that was, you know, cost 40 bucks. And they also had four other items that had their SKUs lined up. So I'm going to allow unknown line items for this example. And I'm going to just double check something that I always are do am doing is making sure this email, disable emails plugin is enabled before I do anything. Okay. I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna scroll down. Order number, order number. Scroll down to the bottom. Line items. And I'm just gonna skip the invoice number, invoice date. Um, if you go all the way to these columns, this was something custom that was put in and this invoice date if you look at it there was only a couple or handful of orders that invoice date and I can get rid of it it's not gonna matter now but I'm just gonna make sure to skip this just skip it and now we're ready to start our import um, I would really recommend doing a dry run first so that's what we will do and you know, even even more simple, if I go back here and go CSV import, I'm gonna take the first order and I'm just gonna open up a new sheet and I'm gonna put because we're importing over five thousand orders, if something goes wrong, only one order is affected. So what I like to do and if I look at my downloads I have sheet 2 and that's what sheet 2 is right here just that single order 5805 and I'm gonna go to CSV import sorry back here I'm on G web partners right not that's the destination URL import orders sheet 2 order number, order number formatted. All these are matching up. We're matching the order with the customer email, which is perfect. And we are ready to go. So I'm gonna do a dry run just to get you guys in the muscle memory of, of using dry run. Okay, it tells us that one order is inserted. This was a dry one. Let's run a live import now. I'm gonna run this live import. click orders I'm gonna to try to find that 5805 so the first order right here if I scroll all the way to the bottom 5805 it's been imported that is good news so I'm gonna go back to sheet one right we already have 5805 so I can delete this row and now let's do the rest of the orders um, I'm just going to re-export this. So 
do the most recent. Okay, CSV import suite. I'm going to allow line items with unknown product SKU or ID. Um, as mentioned before, there's over two years of orders in this file. Um, some SKUs have been discontinued and haven't been imported. The old discontinued SKUs have not been imported to the site. So I'm, I'm going to allow to have unknown product SKUs. Um, and we don't need to use this because we already have, you know, billing and shipping for each, you know, for every order. It's not something we need to be focused on. And I'm gonna go back to this import tab, click next. I'm just gonna make sure disable emails is activated. It is. Skip, and let's start this import. And we are back. This took about 25 to 30 minutes to import all of our orders um, and you will see that when I click view detail results order fit 4612 can't import order without line items you know one order that didn't make it out of 5767 is okay and we are you know in good business I could go and talk about and find that line item but that's something that you know can be done manually now so now when I go to WooCommerce and I click on my orders, it's about to get really fun. Wow, I have 301 orders. And if I go down here, back to page 12, you know, this is just spectacular. We started here and we have all these orders, man. This is gonna get really fun. So now we're, we're just ready to go. Um, everything's imported how we want it to be. You know, even if I go to page 200, you know, I see all these, these orders imported and you know, that's a good sign. Not only that, but you know, let's pick someone, let's pick someone like you know how I click into his orders and uh, to see how they're tied I can sit I can click view other orders for this customer and what a treat he gets to see all his previous orders and uh, just great to be able to do that customization so thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe